Today on Zalonka, the potatoes are ready for harvest, so it's time to upgrade our equipment and get them lifted. Can we improve on last year's method? Let's get farming. Hello and welcome along and welcome back to Zalonka. So today I want to get these potatoes lifted at the very least. We might try and get them collected as well. We're going to start off by getting this tractor going. Uh, if I can set a course play course, which is three pieces of equipment wide, we should be able to get a new method going fairly well. So let's hook this up. Uh, we need the PTO here. Once we get this going, I'm planning to go and get uh, some other bits going. Oh, we need to change the wheels on this. Now, somebody told me that this harvester does not require you to use the topper so we're going to try that first see if that works we need to get the care wheels on the massy otherwise we're going to have a problem what's the repair level on this massy like we might as well repair the massy while we're at it as well so we'll bring this into here we will get uh, this customized we want to put the narrow tires on it. So customize that. Yes. Okay. And uh, we want to repair it as well. So that's got that all done. We need to reconnect it here. Yeah, that's all reconnected up. Right. So we have got a fair amount of money here at the moment, thankfully. Uh, and the plan today is that I want a new piece of potato equipment uh, there's an item that should allow us to create some pretty big windrows and we're gonna we're gonna use that uh, alongside this uh, this one here though I've got an interesting plan for we're going to bring this into this top corner over here line it up and set up course play. So the course we're going to do has no headlands, uh, is up and down. Uh, we are going to put three pieces of equipment on it. And that should do the trick. No rows to skip. Okay. So generate me that course. Up and down going all the way across. Perfect. So now what I want to do is reverse this out of here we'll come out of this and put on that there so this one is going to go center course and we line it up and i'm hoping it's just going to work out how i want it to first waypoint and away it goes will this require us to get this uh all done first nope that does not require us to top this that's fantastic so off that goes and now we can get on with the rest of the plan and the next part of this involves this tractor although you might be able to see either from the orange indicator in the bottom right or by the pure amount of black smoke flying out of our uh, exhaust here that we need to get this tractor repaired uh, at the same time, I'm also going to get rid of a trailer we don't need anymore. Uh, this flatbed is no longer of any use to us at all. So we'll hook this up here. And uh, we're going to take this over to the shop. We'll repair this tractor, sell this trailer. And then we're going to grab a new piece of equipment that's going to really help us with our harvest here. So first up, we've got the trailer. Uh, we'll do the £15 repair and the £646 repaint. Uh, before we sell it, we will get 8640 for that. Perfect. Okay. Then we've got the farm all uh, here. We need to repair that because that is really bad condition. And we need to make sure that we've got the narrow tyres on it, which we have. So that then is all ready for the next bit we want to do we'll head around here park out the front and we'll go and get the new piece of potato harvesting equipment and that new piece of kit is i think it's this one yeah this one 
So this is a similar sort of harvester. It drops swath to the side. So I'm going to get right swath dropping on it, which should do us for what we want to do here. And yeah, this might require us to top first. Well, so we will test that, but I, I think this might require us to uh, do it first. So we will buy that because it's only 12,500. What's the working width on it? 1.5 meters. Working width on that is the same. Good. Right. So let's go and grab this. If we do have to top with this, uh, what we can do is put the topper on the front of this tractor and uh, and do that. Because the, the horsepower requirement on this isn't massive. Although we also don't have a massive amount of horsepower. So let's lift this. And yeah, really hoping that this will be all right. Oh, wow. We need a wait. Be considering getting a wait for a little while. Maybe a thousand. Uh, yeah, we'll get that weight on here. That will do as a color. We'll buy that. Yes. Okay. Right, let's hook that on. And lift it up. And we can head out to the field. Interesting how our rower has been working here. It should have been doing the center item and uh and oh maybe it's just the way this field is let's switch this over i want to see if this will top as well don't think i'm connected up probably no i'm not there we go start it up and pull forwards yeah that is rowing like that as well so we'll set this to 90 we will activate gps Set our first waypoint and start getting this all rowed up. That is a very interesting road that that's set to. I'm uh, I'm slightly surprised. Now this should be quicker than doing it the other way with just our other harvester. Uh, the other harvester is moving a lot faster, but uh, the advantage of this is we're going to end up with some much bigger windrows. And uh, we are only having to go over the field as many times because this uh, this pickup here is just as wide as the uh, big one we've got. Uh, it should take just as long for us to do this. And we're going to end up with having uh, a pretty good setup in the windrows. The only thing that's worrying me a little bit at the moment is just how wide these windrows are and whether the pickup we've got on the harvester is actually going to collect it all up. Our bigger harvester has finished up, so we'll go and move that out of the way in a moment. Otherwise, it is going to be completely in our way. Um, I'm pretty happy with this, though. This is uh, working very nicely in going through and making some bigger windrows. Uh, I'm actually slightly amazed at how cheap this is. We could have got the cheaper version uh, or the, the, the middle row version of this as well and uh, originally saved ourselves some cash. I just really like that harvester because it reminds me of the GT170, uh, which in itself, that has been released on the mod hub in the last few days. So I'm really, really pleased to see that that is uh has has finally come to the game in a way that's available on both pc and console uh that is really good news let's get this round and out of the way and uh, we'll turn off gps on this uh but yeah that's really good that is all done uh that will other one will run to the end of the the row so that's fine we'll pick that up in a moment uh, but our field is looking really good. We're, we're looking like we're going to get through this fairly swiftly. Although, I don't know if we'll get to the pickup today as well. We do want to end up uh, getting this all picked up today if we can. Uh, one thing we do know we can do is sell that front chopper now. We do not need to take the tops off anything to harvest this. And that is uh, fantastic news. Some of the bits at the end of these rows, I think are going to take a couple of goes at. 
the way the other harvester dealt with them hasn't been so great it's it's kind of gone in at weird angles in a couple of places uh, but uh, otherwise we are okay and yeah look at that nice wind rose going all the way in i kind of wish that when this was lifting uh it, it it lifted stuff that was in rows and moved them as well uh that would be quite good but uh unfortunately not so we end up with the rows that we've got i am a little bit concerned by the width of these wind rows the pickup on our harvester is only 0.9 of a meter and that windrow looks pretty wide to me uh, i think we're gonna have to see what happens i'm hoping i'm not gonna have to go over it twice in fact i think our best choice might be to go and grab the harvester and just give it a test see if uh, there's any adjustments we need to make I have a feeling I know why this will happen uh, if it is and, and why we ended up with windrows that are a little bit too wide. Uh, and if so, then I can help you guys to avoid uh, such things. Uh, but uh, at the moment, to me, that looks like it's a little too much for our harvester to handle. I will hook this up here. This tractor, we've seen handle things before. So it should be able to handle the job of this. We know the little tractor won't handle it, uh, but uh, this should. And I want to hold off on our big tractor on here because I think I want that to pull the new trailer. Reading up on the description of the trailer that I want to get, uh, we're going to need the bigger tractor, I think, as a carting tractor. Let's pull this up here, though. And I want to try out, yeah, this row here. So we'll start this up. Oh, we need to unfold it. Start it up. Drop it down. And are we going to get the full width on this? Yeah, we can. That's really good news. So, uh, yeah, this will work. Fantastic. In which case, we will park this off to the side. And uh, we will wait for the finish on the field i think things are still a little off on this I, and the, my reasoning for testing all that a moment ago and and for my feeling for this is because this has a one and a half meter working width the one we had going through the middle the gt200 going through the middle that also has a working width of uh 1.5 meters and yet when course play was lining up, course play was lining up for a two meter piece of kit. So I have a feeling we're like half a meter out uh, the whole time on this. And we're going to move it over a little bit. We're down. So I'm keeping a very close eye. I'm doing a little bit of adjustment to everything. And hopefully we'll end up with some decent wind rows at the end of this that we can actually pick up. Uh, but I need to be a little bit careful. Despite the possible hiccup around the width of course play, I'm really pleased with how this is working. This is going to speed things up no end. Uh, so, so pleased. We're going to take a third of the time to actually collect these afterwards. It's taking about the same amount of time as it did before for us to actually uh, get the, the field harvested. And of course, this time we're not taking the tops off. We're not de-heading them. So uh, we're, we're pretty good from that point of view uh, in that we're, we're not having to go through and, and use the topper. I have realized in checking things out that the topper itself is leased. So I want to get that returned and uh, stop the monthly cost we have for that. Line this up and go again. What, well, we've only got uh, one, two, three, four, five rows left, including this one. So it uh, won't be long after midday that we're finished, I think. All in all, I'm quite pleased with the way this is in road. This is 
a nice set of roads. We've got a lot less to deal with than we had last time. And this has worked perfectly on this little tractor. Just goes to show, actually, that if you have a farm with lower power tractors like this, potatoes still very much a thing that are, are very doable. You do need a pickup. So you can either pick up with a bucket, um, which I have seen people do before. Or you get a, a pickup like the the, the BT200 that we've got here. Uh, however, there's also other ways to do it. You can, uh, there are some mods on the mod hub which, again, require very little pickup, uh, very little power to, to use to pick up and uh, can run in very the same, very much the same way as our vegetable harvesters run here. So uh, you, uh, have to run a trailer alongside and some of them actually have a hitch to run the trailer on it as well so uh yeah there are lots of options i think for doing potatoes uh at this stage in the game where they're doable with smaller and less powerful equipment and it doesn't take forever to do them you know this field is not a tiny field it's it's not a, a huge one but at the same time, it's not tiny. We get a decent number of potatoes off here. And uh, it has not taken us that long to harvest them. Uh, using two tractors, uh, you could do it. Well, you could do it yourself. Uh, it'd be a little bit hard to do it with a hired worker uh, without course play, I think, for that setup. Uh, you could do it with follow me. Follow me would be an interesting way of doing it. Uh, I think having uh, taking control of the middle one and uh, and having this on the outside uh, would would be a very interesting way to do this. I think. Uh, yeah, I think there are there are definitely options around for uh, getting this to to work uh, in the interesting ways. So um, yeah, I think potatoes over the course of uh, FS22 have become more accessible. And I'm hoping that we see a lot more variation of equipment uh, in whatever comes next. Please, can we have potato machines like this? And in fact, like the GT170, uh, which the, the mod that's just come out. Um, because I think opening up potatoes in the game a little bit more would have more people playing them. Because I think there are they are such an underrated crop in farm sim. Coming to the end of the row. I don't know if we're going to get all of this in with this harvester now. We might have to back up a little bit. Yeah, we're not going to get all of it. So back up, take us off course, uh, take us off GPS and bring this back along here. Drop it down again and just clean up that little bit there. That's going to take a couple of runs with the harvester, I think. But uh, that, to me, looks done. There's a few bits and pieces, but nothing major. But let's turn this off, get this back to the farm, and we'll uh, get started with the harvester. Okay, so with this positioned up here, we can start to collect things up. We've got a pretty interesting setup. I think I might try and set up the GPS. What I want to do first, though is get this uh, rogue row here. Now, if we put the tractor along the edge here, yeah, that's a pretty good alignment there. With the tractor along the edge, uh, that is giving us a good position to get everything collected up. The width is not causing us a problem, which I was uh, hoping was going to be uh, the case. And wow, we are filling up quickly look at that three rows of potatoes i think we're probably going to want to find a way to get this running with a uh with something beside it because at the moment we are in trouble time for today's next new piece of kit now i'm not getting rid of my half pipe trailer yet because uh, if this doesn't work i'm going to need it Let's pop into here. And the trailer I want to get, and the reason why I'm using this tractor is this one. 
Uh, it's the Groovy Bolts Trailer 350. It is 40,500, uh, which we can afford. And uh, I'm going to get it in the Grimmy White, uh, which will work quite well. Number plate wise, we want it to match our big tractor. So we'll put Taz's name on there. And actually, I'm going to add the cover as well. So that should be pretty good. We will buy that as we have the money. And there it is over that. So tractor up. So these trailers require about 200 horsepower. Our tractor here has 190. So I'm hoping the 10 horsepower deficit isn't going to be too bad. Uh, it should be able to handle this trailer. Uh, and I think we're going to be okay. I want this trailer more actually for our vegetable harvest. This will keep our vegetable harvester running longer. Uh, and as a result, means we have less trips to make to the factory, to the super factory, to, to dump everything. Uh, same is true for the uh, potatoes. But of course, with potatoes, our problem now is how often we're going to need to empty the harvester. And I need to see if we can create a course play course uh, that will actually cover the whole field. Will this fit under just i think yep there we go so a nice big trailer we've got now in order to handle everything and uh, should mean we can keep things going i wonder if we can get this going we might be able to get this going with a follow me so let's back this up put follow me on and see if we can shift ourselves out to the side enough so I'm going to go three and a half meters. That seems to be about right. That's not really moving in. And if we can get it to go a few meters ahead, that should do it. In fact, yeah, we'll leave it at four. Six is a little bit far. Let's uh, give it a try. Forward we go. And... No, I think we need to set it to six. We need it to want to be further forward than it is. So, set that to six. And that should position us much, much better. Yeah, look at that. That is now working really well. And when we get to the end of the row, what we'll do is we'll stop uh, there. We'll lift this. We jump out and into the other tractor. We will uh, stop the follow me. So take the hide worker off. Then we can turn the harvest around and uh, and get going the other way. And then just set follow me going again with the uh, with the other tractor once we're in position. And that will work really really well. So get this down and into the field, get ourselves nicely aligned. We've got a little bit of a, a little bit of storage space on this, which is great. And then this, we just bring round, wow, 69% of this big trailer off one row. That is huge. Right, and follow me again. And this time I'm going to put it at eight because we were filling up the very front of the trailer. If we put it at eight, we might try and start filling the middle of the trailer instead. And that would be a much better position to be doing it. Yeah, in fact, I think we might even be able to go 10 ahead. Either way, this is working perfectly. My harvester has started filling, and that tells me that my trailer is full. Let's jump into this. Yeah, we have a nice full trailer on this. And the tractor's pulling it. Just. Yeah, that, uh, that 10 horsepower is showing, or the, the, the 10 horsepower deficit is showing. Um, but this tractor is able to actually pull this trailer. So uh, not bad, not bad at all. Empty the first load of potatoes with our nice, uh, very nice trailer. I, I do love this Grimmy trailer and it is uh, absolutely perfect for what we have on here. 
and we're still producing some triple soup we've got a fair amount left uh but i'm gonna leave the potatoes until the triple soup is done and in fact now that we're gonna have more parsnips and more red beet coming in i'm not gonna create any carrot soup we will just create triple soup all the way Triple soup price at the moment is a little bit lower, uh, but we still have £79,000 worth of triple soup. We are almost certainly going to be able to pay our loan off and buy most of our equipment before the end of this series. Easiest way I've found to make sure I get all of the rows with a, a little bit of trial and error here has been to line up the front right hand side of my bonnet here with the edge of the row uh, that then picks everything up and we're not missing anything i had a few instances the last couple of rows or the first couple of rows where i did miss and got a little bit off track uh but pretty happy with this now this is uh working pretty well for us and we're loading things up in fact i'm getting fairly full now which can only mean that my trailer here is full yes we are so hide worker off this and this method is working really really well and this is only our second trailer off here but that does represent seventy thousand liters of potatoes our third delivery of potatoes and that means that we've got around about yeah it's going to be a hundred and five thousand liters of potatoes in our soup factory uh, that's going to create that's going to create about uh thirty thousand liters of soup which is a huge amount at the moment uh the potato soup price is really good it's uh, 2,300 if we put it on the train. Uh, if we sell at the farmer's market, which it tends to be what I'm doing now, uh, yes, we take the hit, but it's still worth it. You're still looking at 2,000 pound per 1,000 litres of soup. Uh, so that's 60,000 pounds just off potato soup that we've already delivered potatoes for. Uh, and that is only going to go up because we're only about halfway through this field. One thing I do need to do, though, on our way back is this tractor has conked out on me twice on our way back. So uh, we need to take it in here for a quick repair. Hoping this is going to be too expensive. 2,800, so that's not too bad. That's good. And that means it shouldn't conk out on us now while we're working. Also, on my way out to tip the last load of potatoes, I went and refilled it with some more DEF and some more fuel. So uh, we should be good to go for the rest of the day with this tractor now. Got into quite a nice rhythm now with this. Uh, starting up on each row and then letting the tractor and trailer pull up beside me as I'm going. Uh, we get about a third to a half full doing that. And then by the end of the row, uh, we tend to be... Uh, empty unless of course the trailer is full like it is now uh, at which point i will continue along here until we get to the point where we're full uh, i find that we are able to go a little bit longer and uh, and it helps things to move around a bit so there we go we're full this is also full this is our fourth load and there's still three rows to go or two and a half rows to go on here uh, that is a fantastic amount of potatoes uh, what we'll do at the end these little bits that we've missed that we've got all over the field uh, we'll just go around with the harvester and pick those up because the harvester should fit all of those in I think this has definitely been the most efficient way I have done the potatoes so far it's just working so well and uh, allowing us to clear through the biggest field we've got on the farm here really quickly i had not expected to be able to get through all of this today and in fact uh, i think there are ways that i could have been a little bit more efficient with it and uh, and could have sped things up even faster uh also i'm loving this grimy trailer it is going to be perfect for us 
doing the vegetables next time we're just gonna not go to the soup factory quite so much as we were with our other trailer and as a result we're gonna end up uh being much more efficient on our vegetable harvest as well so this is our sixth load we're getting off here and our final row you can see that we've got a little bit all over the place here we don't seem to quite have a full trailer yet though uh which is both good news and bad news uh obviously we'd like to get as much off this field as we can uh we are 93 percent full though so uh there is a little bit of space in here i think probably less space than we have potatoes on the field i'm just gonna put the trailer here for a minute and we'll take the harvester and we'll just have a quick run around the field grab all these bits that we've missed and uh see if a we can fill this trailer up which i've no doubt that we will but B, if we are able to get a little bit more out of this field beyond that. There was actually more than a harvester's full of potatoes left around this field. So we're going to top this off, come and collect whatever's left in the harvester, and then, yeah, finish off going around the field with the harvester, which is fantastic. At six full trailers... Uh, that's 210,000 litres that we should have. Our final amount is going to be really good off this field. Taken a little while to get around the field and get everything collected up, but we do have the last little bit here that we can get up into our collector. Yeah, there we go. Bring this around and grab the little bit that's just off the edge of the field and that should do the trick and then we can see exactly how much we have that fits under there yes just oh no not quite let's back that up then and a little bit further out seems that i had it much better with the actual uh, follow me but that's all good once that's emptied we'll take a quick stock of it there we go so turn this off and that we'll get that back to the shed in a bit so how much we got in our trailer Fourteen thousand one hundred and ninety four thousand. Uh, yeah fourteen thousand one hundred and ninety four liters plus the 20 uh, 210,000 liters we already have in there so that's 20, uh, 224,000 litres just over that we've got in our factory. That is absolutely fantastic. What a massive haul. Uh, that is going to create nearly 70,000 litres of uh, the potato soup, um, which is 140,000 pounds off that one field alone what a result that immediately even where we are now puts us over 200,000 absolutely fantastic so we will see where the vegetables take us tomorrow as we continue to make some dripping soup uh we've got to start with uh, i think it's probably the parsnips so uh we're gonna give them a go tomorrow uh, for now, though, I'm going to leave this here. So all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below. Follow on Twitch to watch live. And for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.